Hey everyone, how's it going? What is up? It is me, Twister Windstalker. And as many of you may know, or may not know, depending on where you live in the world, I don't know how the news reports from state to state and all that good stuff, but here in NC, in South Carolina, and I think a few others, uh, there was um, a pipeline busting in Alabama, which is causing a gas shortage around here. And... Um, I went out yesterday to help a friend fix his cell phone, which uh, it's ironic that he actually used up all his, he has straight talk and he already used up all his data and I'm like, wow, man, I, I can't even use data that fast. And I saw lines of cars trying to get into a gas station in a lot of places. I mean, they was lined up right down the road. I mean, it's like, wow, cool. And then we got over to where he worked, and the gas station right next door was full, and then it was empty. And, of course, they said that they, you know, expecting gas within the hour, and there was people that already parked up. And we ran on to Walmart to check to see if his um, phone would work with the Wi-Fi at Walmart. Came back, and they had a cop there from Buncombe County, um, I guess, directing traffic and everything. And there's many gas stations yesterday that didn't have gas, but of course, according to what I read, our governor here in NC has took steps to try to get us gas, so it won't hurt us bad. But then again, you know, the one gas station I've been going to that had gas for 205, and then of course I go to Sam's Club and I get a nickel knocked off, made it like two dollars point nine. Because you know how they always do the nine tenths, and uh, that gas station is jacked up, uh, like by like fifteen cents or so. I mean, it's crazy. And it's like, wow, man. So, last time we had a gas shortage here in NC, we were um, I was still working at Clement Pappas, and it lasted probably about a week. And people were going around at my, at Clement Pappas, and when they got to have a tank, they'd fill back up again. Of course, me, I was never that smart, and, you know, just said, ah, this ain't going to last forever. I mean, it's not like we're in a zombie apocalypse. And right around a quarter of a tank, I'd go out and fill up gas. Because I figured, you know, that would be enough, you know, to get gas and be able to do whatever it is that I needed to do. Well, fortunately... For me, I don't have to go anywhere to Tuesday when I have to go back to work. So, it's not like I'm in urgency of urgence to get gas. I mean, I'm somewhere between a half a tank and a quarter of a tank, so I'm good. I mean, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, if the governor is still, you know, doing what she says she is doing and going to have the gas situation fixed soon and sh long haul shipping gas from other places to here... I mean, we may have to wait or whatever, and then we may not. I mean, what it all boils down to is all these people panicking. I mean, they're not necessarily the people that, you know, are on E and need gas right now, but these are the people that probably, like, are, like, still has three-fourths of a tank or, you know, use very little gas, buying gas up. I mean, all this panicking buying, like, when bad weather is about to hit around here and, all the bread and necessities are gone because everybody's like, oh my God, it's going to be so bad. And it never ends up being as bad as the news forecasters say because, I mean, it's like, yeah, you bought all that bread and yet um, it didn't snow. It didn't do jack. And if it does, it's just the light dusting. And it's like, oh wow, that was worth, you know, panic buying. I mean, I can see people... Um, the reasons why people do this is, you know, due to the fact that, you know, the news pumps up the hysteria and all this stuff and makes it seem worse than what it is. And sure, this could be worse than what it is. But I mean, I'm just, you know, if I have to ride my bicycle or walk to work or find other means to work, I'm not too worried about it because, well, it is what it is. And even though it would suck to walk to work, 
or on my bike to work. At least it's happening during still the springish, uh, summerish time of the year where it's still warm and walking outside wouldn't be too terribly bad because it'd be like, well, you know, it's still warm. I mean, if this was like cold, it'd probably be an issue and I'd work harder to get, you know, things done and all this, but it's, it's nothing. I mean, it's like, eh. So, yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of people panic buy gas yesterday. And gas prices are jacked all the way up. And then there was people on um, yard sales or whatever it's called on Facebook selling five gallons of gas for like $50 or whatever, and which was hilarious to me. I don't know if they was joking or if they were serious, but still, that's hilarious. I mean, you would think that there would be more than one way to you know, supply gas everywhere, but I guess not, um, I just don't know, it's just weird, it's like, okay, so we're gonna do this this way, and, you know, price gouge the crap out of people, because we have gas, and, you know, you don't, that's the thing, that's the worst part to me about this whole thing is that the gas prices get so jacked up so I mean it hasn't hit three dollars or anything it's still you know like under two dollars and thirty cents in most places and other places is two dollars thirty it you know it hasn't reached two dollars and forty cents at least I haven't seen it and of course I haven't been out because I ain't going out until like Monday or Tuesday to you know try to find gas. Because I don't find it a necessity. So, I mean, I can... Most places I need to go to I can are in walking distance. Sure, it may take me like 30 minutes to an hour to get to some of these places. But two hours is nothing and it's walking distance for me. It's like, ugh, whatever. So, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I hope other people out there that do have to go places and go to work and take their kids to school and all this or um, having luck finding gas I really do hope you can find gas and you know get where it is you need to go especially if you're going on vacation and everything and getting out of this state so yeah I mean it's weird that this is the second time in like let's see eight maybe ten years that this has happened. I mean, you would think that they would have contingencies plans for this. I guess not. Uh, but as far as I know, it's North and South Carolina. I think Tennessee is hit. I'm not sure if Virginia is hit. I'm not sure how big of area it is. I know North and South NC is. And I think Tennessee is. Uh, that only leaves like what Virginia. Alabama, of course. Um, maybe Florida. And maybe, um, well, I don't know if Louisiana will because they're close to Texas. So I don't think they'd be hurt too bad. And if it is, you know, so I hope we get the gas thing fixed. They're supposedly working on a temporary fix from what I've heard. It should be interesting. I'm sorry I didn't put up a video uh, Friday. Um, I had some things I had to do and it totally slipped my mind. Um, I'm going to, I promise you guys, I'm going to work on and get better at it and stop missing Fridays because, you know, I promise you guys Mondays and Fridays. And I need to hold true to that promise. I really do. It bugs me when I miss a day. Uh, but anyway, there's also the podcast coming out on Wednesdays at noon where we're going to talk about bands, whether it's metal, rock, pop, whatever, 80s. Um, this week's subject is Metallica. And as far as I know, it looks like next week, not this coming week, but the week after next week is going to be Nine Inch Nails, which... It's even more exciting. But anyway, look forward to that. I can't wait to do both of those bands because Nine Inch Nose is one of my favorite bands. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
leave comments down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.